Did, did I get a point for... Oh, you, you do get a point, and you have to decide if you want to fight it. Um, which could give you two points if you win. You might as well kill it now. Oh, yeah. There's no reason to leave it alive. Yeah, I should fight. And Michael's don't, not yeah. there at this point. I was going to say, yeah, don't leave it alone. Don't leave it alive for Michael. <laughs> he might actually win that one. Okay. okay. So, uh, it's rolling what are you four doing? dice. I'm She's fighting, fighting the angel. thing before you take a turn. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> It'll give me another bonus point because I moved in. Did you get a point for it then move okay. it in? The, the wing yeah. serpent. Rolling against six the three, rat six three three six three three. Cali loses. Aww. Sorry, it took you out. Oh, no. So Michael does get a point. You get a sword. Michael does get a point. Yeah. Do I get my things back? Uh, you pulled well, back. You pulled back. So be yeah. But if you want to have them in your this is good. Mm-hmm. The demons sure. never summon their death. Right? Don't need this. Mm-hmm. Michael got so many cards. He's gonna. Gonna be cards. Cards. <laughs> right? They give points at the end. No, it's cards not as important. Are cards are points. Um, cards are big points. How many dwellings are not not next to a ruin? I'm sorry, how many dwellings are not next to a ruin? Well, basically, like this dwelling is next to a ruin. How many it, aren't? Uh, it's really one. rare right now. That one is not next to one. And two? No. Nope. No, that's, so that's the only one. That's the only one. Yeah, it's I wonder if it would be better okay, to I'm gonna go dump, to the dungeon or to do So I, I discard four cards, and I get four plus one for my uh, uh, Okay, ability. so he's casting Swirling Vision. Swirling Vision! You get four oh, plus one? Okay. Yep. He's taking a big stab here. points there. Now, if it, doesn't, if it didn't sync it with cards, it certainly is pulling one or two prophecies okay. here, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. What else can I see? Interesting. Monster cards out of here. It's not gonna matter. Okay, I'm gonna spend two of these. So I'm gonna play. I'm gonna start casting some spells now before I end my turn. This is okay. the last turn, right? Yeah, this yep. is it. This is so it, right? for two, don't get discarded cards and then my turn, right? Not instantly. Yeah, at the end of your turn. Okay, so for two potions, play on your turn, choose and discard three adventure cards from the dungeon trays, uh-huh. and draw new cards and replace them. But I don't care. No it's the end of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I'm also getting three points over. for this card. So three points. Which is one spell. Yeah. Two, three. Uh-oh, Callie. Uh-oh. I'm going to also oh, p- pay, yeah. play on your turn, gain one point for each unit in your underworld, return them to my ready area. So that's so two. Healing again. So I get two more points. Ding. Ding. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, and then... Noah's point now. The clerics of the dawn. Yeah, I'm also going to play the... I'm going to perform the ritual, complete this quest. You must cast at least one spell, gain two points for each spell you cast. Which nice. is four, four points. points. And Don't want to ignore the magic cards, apparently. Okay. <laughs> that is one useful. way to play, is go for all the magic cards and see what they do. And that's it. That would be okay. all of my things I can do. All right, so we're going to score this, baby. All right. All right. Now the scoring, End of game! If you guys have ever played... Uh, do you guys wish you changed your vote? Let me know right now. Uh, There's 34 of <laughs> you. Do you guys wish you changed your vote? This is going to be the big one. We're doing one more giveaway. I think it's what was just a, a game and a shirt. Yeah, that's. That yeah, we'll do the two games. We got go? expansive and Moon Town. We'll, we'll All right. load them up for a final prize, and a, and a, and a dwelling shirt as well. All right. So let's score this. How this scores is the first thing that you do is you score for the elemental tracks themselves. Mm-hmm. And uh, Michael started the game, so we'll deal with his. So he's got a four pointer and another four pointer and another four pointer. So that's twelve and two more for his chaos. So that is fourteen. Forty five. 55, 1, 2, 4. Okay. Yep. And then we go over to Ashley, who has reached the top of Darkness for 5 and the top of Fire for 5. So those are the only two yeah, tracks you went in, though, good. but that's 10 points. So 25 to 35. And then Callie, 5 points for Chaos, 3 for Fire, so that's 8, plus another 2 is 10, and another 3 is 13 for the amount you got in water. So that's 41 to 54. So after you score that, you're going to move on to dwellings. And they score the same way. You actually look at how powerful they are. So if you look at Michael's dwellings, his light dwellings are worth uh, three each. So I get six points. So there. six points for that. And his darkness dwelling is worth four. So that's a ten point for his dwelling. 59 to 69. And then you come over to Ashley, who has two dwellings in fire, which are five points each, and one dwelling in darkness, which is five points. So that's 15, 15 points in dwellings. Jeez. So that's 50 points yep. right there. Then we go over to Callie, who has a lot of dwellings going on, and uh, two of them are in chaos, so those are five each. Ten. And then uh, you got water, which is a three-pointer, and you've got your 15. fire, which is another three-pointer. Fifteen points. So, I think that was sixteen, right? Two threes and two fives. Sixteen? Uh, oh, no, she's at one. She's five, five, 
Uh, three, oh, and three. Two, three. Okay, okay, yep, yeah. sixteen. So, I thought that yeah, was two. So that's okay. seventy points. Oh, you got ahead of me. All right, now, Cali. Here's where we score. <laughs> no, no, we don't do those yet. I we do cards. So we're gonna do these. Okay. And so how that works is start with Michael. Yeah. You get to now. This counts as a light card. Right now, we're we, we're gonna move that off the player board and have a starter card. So that's gonna be counted as a light one. So you have two light ones, right? And yes. So you've got two light ones, which are four each, and you've got three water ones, right, which are four each. So right now you're at um, 20 points. And then you've got uh, a red one, which is nothing. You've got a chaos one, which is two more, so that's 22. And you've got a darkness one for 26 points on your cards. 26, we're going to go to 70 so and add 25, which is 95 points. 95 points. <laughs> Then we go over to Ashley, who's got Ooh. a dark, dark, and dark. So that's 15, and another fire is another five. So you get 20 points on your nice. cards. Wow. So really 70. good. You just popped over there. And then uh, Callie's got three chaos cards, because we're counting okay. the board. So you've got yep. three. Those are all worth five. That's and 15. you've got a water one for an additional three. So you've got 18 points. So that is uh, 88. Hmm. Now... It's prophecy time. Actually, it's also vault. If you have a vault, which I don't think any of you bought a vault card during the game. Yeah, nothing here. So you don't have any of that. But those are the end game adventure cards. And then you do prophecies. Okay. Starting with Michael, we'll see what he's got. At the end of the game, this card is worth seven points if you built five or more dwellings. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I tried. Yeah. <laughs> what if I told you that the rest of these were also prophecies? <laughs> uh, At the end of the game, you. this card's worth four for each dwelling that's not adjacent to a ruin. For you are dwellings. Uh uh. Oh. Uh, Sorry, for but dwellings. I was wondering why you were asking that question, but it is for your dwellings. No, it isn't. Sorry. Uh, it doesn't if we, have a, we have a poor <laughs> wording on that prototype card. Sorry, okay. sir. Okay. Well, I, accept that, I, can't, I, accept, I say that the entire game. Sorry. Five, two points for each card I have of different colors. Okay, so you have black, purple, red, blue, and yellow. <laughs> nice. Ten okay. points. Nicely done. Uh, at the end of the game, this card's worth two points per quest I completed, which happens to be four for eight. Mm -hmm. And then this one is two points for each of your dwellings that's not adjacent to another one of your dwellings. So, so those are one. adjacent, so yeah. it's two points for that one. Yeah. So you were at 115. Very nicely <laughs> dwelled. All right, so that's then <laughs> come over to Ashley. Do you want to talk about your two prophecies? We got. <laughs> you did this one. Oh, Exodus. At the end of the game, this card is worth four victory points if you have summoned all your workers. Which did. Yep, you got them all. Nice. One, two, three, four. And then... At the end of the game, this card is worth two victory points for each different type of elemental realm in which you have a dwelling. So that's red and black, so that's another four points. Nice. Now, I, I don't know if you're going to believe me on this, but 78 points for a new player a yeah. is really that's good. That's more than I got my first But think I about mean, this, and you just went from, like, here... Yeah. To here. <laughs> like. Really nicely done. All right, I have Awakening. At the end of the game, this card is a lot better than they did in that aspect. Your dragon, your wizard, and your warrior. All right, one, two, that's three, four, that's five. <laughs> and there we I go. I was like, oh no, what else does she have? <laughs> <laughs> she if she was loaded with prophecies, you might be threatened, but the clerics of the dawn have taken it home today. <sighs> yeah. I, well, the it's thing okay. is, I it's had shirt. I didn't try it all on this board at all. My entire strategy was to complete quests and gather as many cards as I could to see how they gave me points. Mm -hmm. um, this was important too. So yeah. it, these kind of made me play the game. You know, like right, play right. it. There's just, a lot of different ways. Okay. And so yeah, I, I didn't would... focus on these. I focused on cards and quests. But so... you did get points off. Of, so like, if you had done only one of those three things, I think you would have actually lost to Cali. But you pulled off all three. Mm -hmm. And well, I had, well had, technically, I had Kelly two had more. had the dwellings game going on and a little bit of the card game, but not really the problem. I mean, these game. three things here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I would have also gotten rid of that card, though, and not used it, because right. that's why Sorry I was like, oh, that. four points, you know? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, well, kept, I kept that way too long, because I wasn't sure how the board was going to turn out. Sure. I mean, that could give you net a good amount of points if you get right. a decent size. So board. one of the tricks with the prophecies is whether you want to hold on to them or not. Like exactly. You know the value of it, but yeah. you could throw it out and... Keep All, right, right All of the Michael wins. Let's see who's who's. Uh, I'll excuse me. Colton did more. Carly. Wow, there's so many people. Raul, Gabriel, wow, Trey, yes. Bob, yeah. John, Harvey, so Gary, Leon, Lion, Eric, Schreer, Josh Schwartz, and Danny Dawson. Well done, guys. And let me go ahead and see what, who else we voted. Who else voted? We got Allie had it early. We got like, Josh. Yeah. We got yeah. Chris, Christopher. Well, let me, let me see. Let me see. 
Yeah. Thank you for voting. Thank, Thank you for, for watching. For Thanks for sharing our drawings of Elderberry. The, the rats needed to go faster. You oh, had it. Terrence you so you had it. it. So yeah. I think it was like you needed to get that end. It, either it was going to be too fast. Well, Tons of the names. Like over and over and over. Because yeah. he, he definitely caught up. Yeah, I had <laughs> the re resources that I didn't use yeah, at the yeah, end there. Yeah. All right. See, look, this is this is what I do. I, I do bonus prizes. You know, for you, I All think right. you go ahead. Uh, bonus for the not winning. Yeah, let's go for no, we're pulling these out and putting them in. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. So go ahead and pull me four of them. Because you got... All right, Grant McCarty, well done. Good, sir. He commented, and he voted. Yeah, Josh Christensen. This one. Because they wouldn't have had those cards. Drew Dunlap, and one more. Lily Kwan, okay. And go ahead and pull me out four as well. So we're giving out random bonuses. Just, just to put it back in, in, in the thing. Oh, nice. <laughs> all right, Vinny and Rachel Harris. These are for all the battles. Uh, that were won Tom Bantz and Jennifer Schaefer. All right, the rest of you guys. Yeah. No dice, sorry. Next time. <laughs> we try these. Hey, I, I, I hook it up, you know what I mean? Right. That's okay. With the stream, like, yeah, we're doing just... three games. Yeah, yeah, usually when he lo if he loses, no, he games, grabs right? his and he throws yeah. them. He's yeah. giving away this one, too. And this one? I think he's. Are you doing it separately or are you doing separately? it Separately, separately. Yeah, okay. yeah, so people, we're separately. Yeah. Boomtown first. Boomtown first. Yeah. Boomtown bandits. It's a uh, it's a it's a simultaneous dice dueling game. So you basically it. are bandits trying to rob the town. And if you rob different locations, you get different powers, and you have also the, the most loot wins. One here. And then go ahead. And <laughs> we have three really things to give away, right? Four or five. Three things to give away. Go ahead, Cali. Yeah. Go ahead okay, and pull okay. one out and hold it in your hand, like nice and tight. Got it. Yeah. And Ash, so we have three because we have a T-shirt as well. Is that, yeah, is that yeah. right? Okay. So yeah, one more for you. Yeah, we're doing them one at a time. We are doing it one at a time. Oh, okay. These are pulled, and we're gonna hold them. Don't look at them. It's a secret. It's a secret. We got our secret. Pro we, this yeah. is one, two, and three. Do um, we have a way of people winning after when they're watching later? We didn't talk about. Yeah. The so, way. Oh, we do. Okay. Yeah. We'll go over that. Okay. So for Boomtown. Go ahead, Ash. For this one. Go ahead, Ash. What are we do? Boomtown. We'll first? do Boomtown first. Spencey was the next biggest one that people yeah. were interested. Vin oh yeah, he already won. We're gonna give yeah, him a bonus, a bonus. Yeah, he won a T-shirt. Yeah, yeah, not the same night. Two game, two games. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, Vinny. <laughs> you, 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 I appreciate. I appreciate it, but yeah, we gotta get go some. to the underworld. Grab one. Okay, got it. Adam Melendez. Okay. Right. Adam Melendez, congratulations, good yeah. sir. He and got lucky. Callie, we'll do the T-shirt next. T-shirt. Okay. Get that out of the way. One of the first games I published. T-shirt. Ah, not again, no. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> so he <laughs> won. Vinny Don't won two T-shirts and a game. Oh my god! Well, he's, yeah. no, no, no. We're, we're, he's he, not I know. No, no, no. He, so we're, he's, yeah. I'm he got, to, his name got pulled well, extra. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him some promos and all well, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Thank you, for Vinny, for watching. Yeah. 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 A lot of stuff, sharing or what? You know, all that stuff okay. is great. Real. Really okay. No. <laughs> Colton Dittmar. Is he okay. win too? No, that was okay. 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 Great. 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 Yeah. City, great, 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 great. Which yeah. I like to say is like right. a mix of Colton like Dittmore, and then the Sim City meets Lego. So now it's expansive. One shirt. more here, and then there's Wait, also a way to win at, at the end of it. I know. Sorry, Vinny. You, 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 I appreciate it. Next week. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> Thank you, Vinny. Okay. This one here. You ready? What we got here? The shirt, the dwellings of Elderbell shirt. They can walk no, around. This is the, oh, no, he did it backwards. Oh, he did it backwards. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. This that was, was shirt. Town and then a shirt. Okay. And then this is the last one. This is the big one. People okay, wanted, all right, so. all right. right. This is like Sim around. City meets uh, Legos here. It is, is it Vinny a... again? No, no, it's not Vinny again. This is a really good game. Oh, my gosh. It's Who awesome. is it? Who's the winner? <laughs> you know what's really bad about that or amazing at the same time Bridget I only Ray. wrote her name once <laughs> I wrote Bridget's name a while ago once too, huh? when she first commented and called you Smashly the first time alright I'm gonna give away some promos of my beautiful mug for people I this is I'm just gonna does your mom want the game people I haven't seen <laughs> like, give stuff yet oh uh, uh, yeah, you want already John Harvey nice. okay yeah, let's yeah, go ahead and give. Let's go ahead and give one more, one more away, one more promos, some mm -hmm. promos. Bob, teach the third. I already gave him something. I already gave him something. That was a. I already gave him something. I gave him something. Oh yeah, Somebody it was. It was Robert promo. Glenn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Promo cards, promo cards, and we'll do one more. We'll do one more. All right. Patrick Lee. This three really guys. Good, this is like promo a really cards. Good roll right here. It's like a bunch of numbers. There you go. These are three. I'm gonna send some promo cards over to you guys. Promo. Trying to make sure everybody gets a little something, something here. Oh. I don't mind people winning over and over again. I'm okay with it. Just not the same stream <laughs> but i do appreciate you guys if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to 
Joel and Zelda Vale, yeah. the okay. mailing list. They greatly appreciate that. Thank and you, uh, you can also go to. Goes up June we're going to be 19th. giving stuff away on that mailing list, too. We're going to tell everybody about the Kickstarter, when it's launching. Of course, we're going to have more stuff to do. Of course, we're going to have more yeah. art to share. Yeah, puzzles. Uh, yeah, we have something on the website right now where you can actually play these elemental puzzles. There's been three realms that have opened so far. And each one of them has a different puzzle with a different reward in it. And then you also have one of which is, by the way, that we're planting trees for the <laughs> Earth Realm. So for everyone who joins the main list, Breaking Games is planting a tree. Oh, wow. So, yeah, that's a lot of fun stuff. And for the, uh, for the uh, Darkness one, you got a coupon in there for Breaking Games merch if you solve the Darkness puzzle. And then what's going to happen with the remaining weeks is the Rattlings are going to go on an adventure, maybe even win. They're going to face different things, and as they face each one, it's a new puzzle. And the end result of that is if you solve the final puzzle, it's an exclusive mini on the campaign. All wow, right, so that's going to be fun. We still have over 30 people, 34 up to 40 people throughout the entire night, even Yay. though it's so late. Thank you guys for Thank staying so and watching. I hope you guys had some you. fun. Last thing, last thing to know, guys, please go ahead and like and subscribe and share and all that good stuff, especially on YouTube. Well, I always need them right subscribers there. and the mailing list. You should be on, especially if you're winning stuff from us. Yeah. Yeah. I expect to be yeah. on the mailing list. You can check this game out. It's a lot of fun. I've played this game probably three or four times now, and I've enjoyed myself every time. I've gotten better every time, too, yeah, learning yeah. the different trips, tricks and tick techniques. Thank you so much, Peter, for coming oh, on absolutely. the show and sharing the game. Yeah, giving all these games away. away. And giving away so many games from Breaking Games. Yeah. yeah. We're, so. we're happy to make games, and we're happy to make you know all sorts of games that people yeah. like to play such a good variety of games yeah i'm, I'm excited to talk yeah. about doing this so i think next stream we're gonna give away another copy of um from our own collection of uh what is it called do, do, we're doomed do, do, we're doomed we're doomed, we're doomed. Yeah. No, we'll probably be playing that again as well next we're doomed stream. you can get on the rocket ship or not it's fun <laughs> it's a lot of fun you guys haven't seen that it's in the other streams before, i haven't won it yet <laughs> It's so hard to get on the so rocket. So, what sometimes. was your what was your thoughts on the game here? What do you, what do you think? I know you've talked about uh, it a little bit before, but yeah. uh, as it's coming along now, what do you think? I like how we got better at it over time. I totally forgot how the cards multiply at the end, but yeah, now we good. know. Now yeah. I think I know. And I, I didn't. We can beat Michael next time. No, I didn't. I didn't <laughs> remember any. I remember a little bit about how they all score. I knew that yeah. he scored quite yeah, a bit. Yeah. And that these would also in turn score them. We're going to uh -huh. do some more uh, how to play demos and stuff like that. The yeah. Kickstarter will have a lot of that. We have a lot of reviewers planned too, um, just so that people will. You do, huh? Yes, we do. <laughs> um, so basically, uh, in addition to live plays like this, there's going to be all sorts of that kind of insider tips mm -hmm. and stuff like that, how to play. Yeah, but overall, so much fun. And I just I just love how colorful it is and the theme, how you're. You're gaining the powers of the different elements, and you have just a lot going on, and you can kind of choose how you want to play, which is cool. fun. Yeah. Kind of open world that way. Will you, will you actually like it? Yeah. It's 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 uh, a <laughs> first that, time in Elder Vale. That is, I mean, a lot of these games with the with the effects. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, first of all, it was your first game for people who played before, and yeah. secondly, this game requires a lot of thought as to where you want to place your, your miniature, your pieces and your meeples and all that kind of stuff, and it, it, it reminds me a little bit of, like I was talking about, um, Evil High Priest, which is probably my favorite worker placement at, at the time, right now, uh, but it's very similar in the fact that you can pull your workers off, and you're able to mm -hmm. place them on certain areas, and you kind of build your tableau, which is really nice as well. Yeah. And then the fact that you have the monsters, which is a different aspect to this game. This That one actually focuses on building a temple, and this one focuses on maneuvering monsters Exploring around the board. The yeah, mm. the chaos guy died early, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I smoked him instantly, but the rest of them I, I yeah. lost too miserably. Yeah. These are really excellent miniatures as well. This is going to, I expect this game to do very, very well, not only because it's amazing and enjoyable, but I think people are going to dig these miniatures. I like being able to take over the monster, too. Oh, cool, yeah, yeah. You had a death paper for a while. Watching as it's grown. Uh, this game has gotten increasingly uh, better production value, changing a couple of things here and there. I'm excited to see the boards too. Oh man! Yeah, yeah. It, it, as long it looks so like Rise of Tribes, uh, as far as the qualities and the artwork and all that. It's, yeah, it's I saw so there's a, so Sergio who's painting the air realms. He paint, he's he's not done with the Valkyrie board yet, but the Valkyrie's coming right at the camera, and it's just like it's so <laughs> awesome. And then I just saw one from Leisha who's doing light uh, it was like cat people and I was like, oh my gosh, cat people? Mm -hmm. So it's like so many different facts and that's Kickstarter stretch so we gotta get to the cat people but mm -hmm. there are so many different ways to play. Uh, I'm excited to share all of them. I mean, like I said, I was going for a strategy that was, I was thinking probably wasn't a thing that m most people would go for. I was yeah, just yeah. going for cards, 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 mm -hmm. cards, cards and then complete as many quests as I could. 
You've got a lot of points on quests, which is really great to see. We've added quests recently, and it's one of going to be one of those things that um, we're talking about whether or not um, the starting deck will be just prophecies and spells, and we'll make quests to stretch goal. Where it was a test, and then the test went really well tonight. You know, to see those quests get used and played. And if I, I I like this aspect of these type of games because it's kind of something separate where I don't have to focus on the, all I the things you guys are placing really. on the board. For me, I, I don't I don't function that well. But I can focus on these things. Yeah, and then yeah. these things coordinate me to, okay, I need to get five of these. Okay, I can do that. And, oh, yeah. okay, I need to separate my dudes. Okay, I can do that. And yeah. then at the end of the game, this all netted me bonus points and because I was focusing on these. So that was kind of a nice twist to it for me. Yeah, yeah. Very I enjoyed cool. that. But I think that's it. I think I think yeah, it's yeah. been a, a long we stream. Developed, I hope you we guys, developed Elder Realm really well. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a probably a full, full playthrough for you guys. So from start to finish, three players. Does it yeah. change at all with four and five in any so way? So what happens with... I'll be uh, a little, little length Well, here's what happens. So you've got... Um, you can play one through five. So like one, again, you play against the ghosts. Yep. And you fight them the whole time. But you play just like you would be playing. The two-player game, you actually have four elements. And because of that, each of you are mixing it up in those elements. It's really tight and interesting as well and you just have that second person and then three uh three has five elements four has six elements five has seven of the eight elements in the game now five is what we are calling our advanced mode because it's very crowded and there's a lot of fights and you got to be ready to scrap with everybody but it is possible to play at five and that's really exciting for kickstarter because i know everyone wanted five for rise of tribes and we couldn't offer that so to be able to put five in this game is really cool out of the gate five player so nice. some really beautiful artwork. We're just going ahead and have a little slideshow, finishing it off to show you guys all the artwork in the game. So There's you get a so good many idea. pieces to share. Actually, what we're doing is we're sharing a lot of pieces on our Facebook group too. There is a Dwellings of Elderville yeah. Facebook group, which if we don't have that linked in there, we can post it in there. I'm sure Bree put it in there, mm -hmm. or Luke or I can get it in there. Um, so yeah, in our Facebook group, what we're trying we have this a Discord server that's actually dedicated to Kickstarter games. We have a channel in there. Um, Definitely, if you get on the newsletter, we'll share with you there. So there's a lot of ways to find out all that artwork. If you want to see what the elves are going to look like, if you want to see what the dwarves are going to look like, mm -hmm. there are so many factions coming. Um, it's really neat to see those come alive. I, I feel like I'm just going to have a hard time choosing which one to play. Yeah, yeah. That's it's like, like uh, choose for me. I don't know. <laughs> um, I mean, I particularly like the Shadow Demons, even though you didn't bring out your Death Knight. Mm -hmm. The Death Knight is so much fun because he's just bigger and bigger. Okay. Um, the other showing thing, off all the cards. The other <laughs> thing about the uh, artwork that I think is really cool is that we did, we've tried to do this a lot in our games, it's like Rise of Tribes, just the, the representation of men and women in different um, nationalities, and, and Sparkle Kitty is all about diversity. And so this is not any different. We're trying to make sure that, first of all, we have some uh, several illustrators that are women, and we have a lot of... I've made sure to say, like, if you're going to draw... You know, different characters. First of all, there can be androgynous characters in Elder Vale as well, but we're making sure there's a lot of different representation. Of course, you know, fantasy race is, is already kind of. Uh, they're fun. already diverse. They're already diverse, <laughs> but we're making sure that if you're not going to see. Even more. You feel represented. Boring, yeah. boring stuff there. Um, fun, that excites me fun, a lot fun. to just see, to have all the art come in. I kind of back Kickstarter games when. But it's kind of art first. I know it's kind of <laughs> silly, but, if I, but, but it's pretty and I'm drawn in. I'm like, oh, what yeah. is this? And then if it it's creates the world. good on top of that, that's a... Now, Luke, who designed this game, probably would say it the other way, because we have often debated this whole mechanics and theme. So Luke is, at its core, I know he would say he's going for really good, crunchy games. Mm -hmm. This has got a little bit of Concordia scoring in it and a little bit of... Um, some of his favorite games are in here, and I think that... Um, I'm just saying this for him, but it's like a bonus is to make it, you know, like... Okay do all this stuff. I'm like, we're going to make your game super beautiful. So I'm, I'm really excited. And, and then we couldn't do that without all of the people at Breaking Games, so I wanted to say thanks to thank Sherry. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you guys for coming over and showing us this game. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. So Sherry, you know, who publishes all these games for Breaking Games, this is not necessarily her way to game, but what I, what I love is that she supports all these types of games, and actually when she played it the first time, kicked butt and said, oh yeah, this game. That's what we want to make. So, uh, yeah. Great story at the this end. Is the biggest, this is the biggest game, right? This is our, this is the meatiest, the craziest, 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 craziest stuff. Yeah. 
All right, guys. Oh, we're happy to do it. You know how to work it at the very end yeah, here. We know. We're all, all better. Right, right. I'm going to set it up here. And I'm going to do it the cheating way, so I'm going to actually outro with the, just a voice, of, a, an image of breaking games at the very end. So cool. I'll show you guys out. All right. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys, guys next time. time. <laughs> <laughs>